Hey, I'm Barry Worse, and we are backstage in Will Kimball's dressing room. This is the star of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the musical. Excuse me, just Jekyll and Hyde, the musical. Um, this massive undertaking, in some ways, no pressure, but in some ways it's on your shoulders. <laughs> and, of course, you have this incredible dual role. First, I want to ask you about your background, which is so interesting. You, you got your theater degree in Arizona, am I right? I did, yeah. It's yeah, so Arizona cool. State, yeah. Yeah, I did a um, um, musical theater slash opera performance degree. So graduate degree. So it was um, uh, full immersion and they threw us in and we had productions all the time and that's all we did was do classes and master classes and it was a lot of fun. It was a great, great time. That's fantastic. Yeah. What, what led you to Maui? Um, I had always wanted to move here. Uh, it was just kind of a dream of mine to live here. I came, grew up here, uh, coming here for summers and vacations and Christmases and um, just have always uh, loved the island and have always loved the people. and. Um, just thought, well, one day I would really like to make this home. So Very cool. that's what I did. How yeah. long have you been here now? I've been here just a little over two years. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Where did you first encounter Jekyll and Hyde the Musical? Um, I remember Jekyll and Hyde the Musical back in the 90s. Very, I think like most people, um, it was kind of one of those that wasn't huge. You know, Les Mis was kind of a, the, the talked about musical. And, and uh, there were some of the others, Phantom of the Opera, obviously. But Jekyll and Hyde was kind of this little musical that, uh, it was kind of the little musical that could. Yeah. You know, it kept... Uh, getting canceled but then popular demand would bring it back again and um, I remember hearing about it uh, a lot through just media television things like that and um, and hearing some of the music and, and and knowing who were some of the stars that were in it but um, hadn't paid attention to it for probably 10 or 11 years so so you caught the David Hasselhoff starring version of course yes course. I did yes yes, yes. naturally that was a pay-per-view <laughs> I don't know if you remember that, but it was a paper. I didn't realize it was paper. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. So, well, anyway. <laughs> I asked David C. Johnson uh, how he came to casting you because it's obviously such a demanding, such a challenging role, and he mm -hmm. said all I had to do was hear your voice, and um, so I was the highest form of praise from your director. That is, um, yes. What has this experience been like for you? Um, it's been a great experience. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great challenge. I think any um, any person who considers themselves a singing actor um, likes a big challenge, and uh, and this role has been a huge challenge. Uh, not only do you have to play one person, but you have to play two people, and the embodiment of these two people in the same being, you know, has has been uh, very challenging, but a lot of fun and a lot of fun to explore. And David, with our director, you know, is is just he's been fantastic at at giving us. Um, the license that we need to to try out things and to do what we want to do and he gives us very close tight parameters where to keep it and uh, and he has just been such a, a great teacher and mentor and, and along this whole journey just has kind of uh, taught us so much about who we are and and who we who our characters are and it's been a great experience and that, you know and then I have to really uh, I have to credit the cast you know the rest of the cast, the, especially the supporting players, the the two ladies that I get to fall in love with, and every night, and um, John, who plays my best friend, and Simon Stride, and and all the other just supporting characters, Joey, who is the the father of the Sir Danvers, um, everyone has just been so supportive and so loving, and so um, so willing to uh, give me whatever I need, and uh, and that includes not only support off stage but on stage. So, just are there really... particular numbers or songs that you always look forward to whenever you know they're coming up? You know, uh, I said this the other day in an interview, Bruce, but uh, honestly, I really don't like many of the songs that I sing. I really don't. I love the songs that the women sing. The ladies, I think, have some of the most beautiful, uh, the duets that we sing together and the duet that they sing and their solo numbers are just so beautiful. And I think people, once they hear them, they're really going to... I think they're going to be emotionally moved. I think there's going to be some Kleenex and some chicken skin, and you know, I really think people are going to really connect with the the longing and the love and the just the un, the, the desire that is in those songs that they sing. So the music is very beautiful, but the material, of course, is a bit is on the dark side. Do you is. have a process to get in the character before each production? You know, it, it's a lot of um, it's uh, it's a lot of just concentration. It's a lot of remembering details. Um, I don't go through any sort of um, uh, process as far as trying to get into character. But it, you know, once I get out there, um, I don't know. There's something that just happens. It's kind of a a, a, a mini transformation of of taking myself and putting myself in that situation. How would I react? And um, I can identify with Dr. Jekyll. I really can. There's a lot of things about him that, that are similar to me. Um, but, but playing Hyde, you know, is obviously 
that's that's the big challenge but uh, it's a lot of fun you know whenever you get to play the bad guy it's fun you know because you just get to go full full at it you know and just 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 make him as evil as you can so which is it's a lot of fun it awesome. is well yeah. thank you so much for taking some time my pleasure to speak to us. oh absolutely this is will kimball folks the star of jekyll and hyde the musical here at the mac it opens this weekend and plays for the following weekend go to mauiarts.org for tickets also call you guys want to see this as soon as you can jekyll and hyde the musical check it out